carbon atoms. So one, two, three, four. So two of those carbon atoms basically came from these, this acetyl coenzyme A molecule and the other two came from this acetyl coenzyme A molecule. Now what happens next because ultimately we said that fatty acid synthase can generate a 16 carbon fatty acid molecule. So what happens next is this cycle basically takes place six more times. And when it takes place six more times, it generates a 16 carbon palmitate, a 16 carbon palmitate fatty acid molecule. So quickly, let's talk about how that actually takes place. So in the next step, once we generate this, what will happen is this entire group here, this four carbon group will be moved onto this cysteine in the same way that we move this group onto this holding 16 molecules shown here. So in the next step, we're going to use another malonyl coenzyme A to attach it onto the ACP that now does not contain this. And now we're going to continue via these steps. We have a condensation, reduction, dehydration, and a second reduction step. And now we'll generate a six carbon intermediate. And this will take place five more times until we generate that 16 carbon palmitoyl intermediate molecule. And once we generate that palmitoyl intermediate molecule, an enzyme known as thioesterase will cleave that bond that will release that 16 carbon palmitate fatty acid molecule. And that pretty much completes that fatty acid elongation step. So these are the steps involved in synthesizing fatty acid molecules. Again, the first elongation step involves steps one through step seven, but then these steps from two and onward have to take place six more times to actually help us generate that 16 carbon fatty acid molecule that does not contain any double bonds. So it's a fully saturated 16 carbon fatty acid molecule.